everyone will argue at some point in their relationship. And so therefore, we wanted to bring this topic to you guys to just discuss how to navigate through that and how to kind of have a disagreement and it be effective and it not just be like two people screaming at each other. Right. Arguments and disagreements are going to happen naturally with every relationship. And the longer you're in a relationship, the more arguments you're going to have. And they happen just because you're two different people. Right. Me and Jen are not going to operate in life and have the same actions and the same thinking around everything. Yeah. So naturally, there's going to be some disagreements. There's going to be some different opinions on mm-hmm. how to do things. So I don't care how perfect your relationship is some Mm -hmm. people think our relationship is perfect and they're always aspiring and saying relationship goals relationship goals we have a pretty good relationship but it's not perfect and do we argue yes (laughs) yes we argue (laughs) under our skin all the time (laughs) we have disagreements all the time yeah and we handle it effectively even though it might be small or sometimes it might be big but Mm -hmm. the fact is is that we argue and we have disagreements and we have different opinions on things. And that's just natural because I guarantee you the longer that you're with somebody, (laughs) the more, the more times that you're going to have different opinions because you guys are just two different people. Yeah. Uh, But the thing is, it's, it's natural. That's going to happen as, um, Shane said, but where it becomes an issue is how you argue. Right, exactly. Now, if you are having a disagreement with your partner, which Shane said, very true, will happen naturally at times when you bump head or have disagreements about stuff, you should never tear your partner down. You should never call, cut them to the white meat. Or you call know, them out of their name. Call them out of their name. That's, that's not healthy, not and healthy. we do not support that at all. It should not be toxic. Um, but it's okay to have different opinions on things. And also, even if you think that you're on the same page, but you're not expressing how you feel, but express it in a way that's healthy. Um, so again, you know, just putting that out there, although, you know, it is normal to argue, your argument shouldn't lead to you feeling belittled or feeling neglected or feeling like someone is not talking to you in a way that is appropriate at all, because that, that is not something that that, we promote at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's never, that is never something that you should do because Mm -hmm. the more arguments that you have that get out of hand, whether it's a shouting match or calling somebody out of their name, Mm -hmm. the more resentment or the more agitation that grows within the relationship and that, Mm -hmm. that seed can grow very large into the point where you know the relationship doesn't work anymore because the trust isn't there or the the amount of disrespect that has been taken in the relationship has gotten to a point where it's irreparable Uh, yeah it just gets to a point where it's very toxic and so um again just want to stress that it is normal and healthy to have disagreements and arguments but not to that level where there's a shouting match yeah. and all of that. So to move on to the next part mm-hmm. of this segment about arguments, disagreements in a relationship is yeah. expectations. Yeah. I think that's where a lot of the issue lies mm-hmm. when arguments happen. Oh, for sure. Because one person is expecting one thing and then the other person either has no clue what's going on yep. or is has different expectations. Exactly. And I think that's where a lot of the disagreements happen because expectations aren't being met, uh, lack thereof or, or too much of something. Yeah. So that kind of reminds me of, I don't know if you've ever seen like the YouTube compilations or TikTok videos of what I, what I ordered versus what I got. Have you ever seen that? (laughs) And it'll be like something real fly online and then they order it. And then it's like, versus what I got. And it's like the outfit or hairstyle looks nothing like they imagined and their expectations weren't met. It's kind of similar to that uh, same effect when it comes to disagreements. And that's because like you said, people are thinking one thing and just automatically assuming that their partner knows what they're thinking. Now, Shane and I, we like to really, um, kind of, I guess like not, not ourselves, uh, pat ourselves on the shoulder, but, 
really like to say that we're in sync when it comes to a lot of things. And sometimes we're generally like, oh my gosh, I was thinking the same thing. Like yeah. you read my mind. But that does not happen all the time. And especially <laughs> with uh, disagreements and arguments because your partner is not a mind reader. They're not going to automatically know what you want from them. So it's very important that you express how you're feeling and you express expectations so that when these arguments or disagreements do arise, you guys can come together, have a healthy conversation about it and address it and move on. Because right. otherwise you're going to be feeling some way. Your partner's going to be moving around the house, la -di -da -di -da, like everything's fine and dandy. But in your head, you're fired up about something and you're also upset that they're not understanding uh, or not acknowledging how you're feeling. Right. And then an argument happens and then there's just two different people kind of coming at each other and you're mad because your expectations aren't being met and they're feeling like, well, I don't know what's going on. I just have to defend myself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, if you can tell, everything goes back to communication. Yes. Communication is key in a relationship mm -hmm. and communication is key just in life in general. Yeah. Um, but definitely in a partnership, that communication has to be there. Yeah. So when we're talking about address it, or let it go, mm -hmm. you need to address the problem if it's to the point where it's going to be something that's eating at you. Yeah. Or if it's something that's petty and it's not not that like serious, small. something mm -hmm. small, let it go. Yeah. And it's okay to just let it go yeah. and just move on mm -hmm. completely. Just like mm -hmm. a, detach yourself from those emotions that yeah. you're feeling in that moment and just let it go. Mm -hmm. That's also healthy. Yeah. But if it's something that's going to eat at you, like I said, yeah, and, it's, sure. and it's going to build some resentment or some anger within yeah. you day in and day out and mm -hmm. week in and week, week out, then it's something it's that something you need that to address yeah. and address it effectively by having communication mm -hmm. with your spouse or your partner mm -hmm. and let them know this is what's bothering me mm -hmm. and do it in a, in a appropriate, healthy way. A, mm -hmm. a healthy and responsible way. Yeah, like for example, um, just to kind of give an example of what he's talking about, let's say you want your partner to make up the bed more. Pretty simple, you know, but you realize you're kind of doing it more, your other your partner isn't, and so one day you just don't make up the bed and hope that he or she is going to make up the bed, and right. then they don't. It kind of bothers you, but that's something that you can let go, right. you know? But if you feel like you are doing it consistently and then you to see what your partner is going to do and they're not making up the bed at all. They're just like, okay, it's whatever. Like oh, she, she or she didn't make up the bed today. <laughs> it looks like we're not making up the bed. And it's something that is going to bother you for a while because you feel like it should be a joint thing. Then address it. Right. But also acknowledge that your partner is not a mind reader. So they don't know that you are secretly waiting for them to do that you know, on their own without you having to address it. She's, so dro that she's dropping gems right now <laughs> because I know she's speaking to a lot of you out there. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's it, this is this is real stuff. This yep. is real life. This yeah. is what uh, relationships are all about. Yep. So continue. Sorry. Yep. My so bad. that no good. No, I'm glad you said that. So um, that they're not going to know that that's something that is secretly bothering you. So you need to set clear expectations and just communicate and effectively um, and calmly say how right. you're feeling. And then two, once you have addressed it, let it be known and then move on. Right. You say, hey, this is, it makes me feel that it's not fair in a partnership that I am only making up the bed. And I would appreciate if you can contribute and help with that. Like, right. I don't want to be the only person to do that. Boom. You express how you feel. You've set expectations. You've addressed it and you've moved on. Yes. Now, if you don't and you just let it kind of fester and then one day, let's say you're not having a good day. And you see that the bed is not made. That could be the straw that broke the camel's back. And then, and, and then that's and then yeah. that's that's where something so small, something mm -hmm. so minuscule, as mm -hmm. far as not making up the bed or not washing the dishes yeah. enough or something like that, yeah. can blow up into a huge argument because you've yep. let it ha you've let it fester mm -hmm. week in and week out or yeah. year in and year out yeah. to the point where even something small mm -hmm. would be that that straw oh, yeah. that breaks the camel's so back. So it'll, it'll be let's say one partner is making up the bed all the time they secretly you not secretly but they intentionally stop doing it in hopes that the the other partner will then you know kind of pick up and right, take right. over but instead of that happening the partner says damn 
You didn't make up the bed today. <laughs> oh, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> it is over. You can you can see the emotions yeah. in, in, in our talking because <laughs> we've been there a time or two. Oh, yeah. Hey, yep. But look, we don't get to 11 years by not communicating effectively. Yeah. So we we have learned this over the years and we have gotten to a point where we do uh, uh, we do talk to each other in a respectful way, and when yep. we have an argument or something like that, yep. we bring it to to the attention of mm-hmm. either one of us, and we address it. Yep. Um, or sometimes we'll let it go and mm-hmm. just sweep the thing under the rug and just yep. let it let it be swept under there if it's not going to let it fester in your mind. Right. Right. So, like I said, we don't get to eleven years if we don't have that effective communication. Mm-hmm. So the moral of the story here is communication and usually in a relationship that is the answer communication so to recap on everything that we're talking about arguments are normal yeah let's let's normalize that arguments and disagreements are normal in a relationship and even with your friends even with your family Mm -hmm. Uh, arguments are going to happen just because Everybody is different. Yeah. In a relationship, there's two people. Mm -hmm. That means there's two different emotions. There's two different uh, ways of thinking, two different ways of living. And it actually can be beneficial for you in the long run because if you do have arguments, that that can show that you can withstand those arguments and you can withstand disagreements as a team. What matters most is when that time does come, how you communicate during an argument. You never want to cut below the belt. You do not want to belittle someone or call them out of their name or scream at each other. That should not happen. You should address your point, communicate effectively, set expectations, and then once all of that has been addressed, let it go. So I hope that makes sense for you today. I hope that brings a little bit of shedding some light on a topic that's not talked about a lot within relationships, which is arguing Mm -hmm. and disagreements and bickering (laughs) even bickering we're gonna (laughs) even put that in there yep so hope that helps for you today like comment and subscribe my name is shane i'm jen enjoy the journey